This is question 25 from book one based on the 2020 NEC, and this is electricaltime.com. What is the lighting load demand factor in VA for a multifamily dwelling where the connected VA came out to be 200,000 VA? Use the standard method. And the answer to this question, hi, this is Steve with electricaltime.com. Uh, before we get back to our video, just want to show you our website real quick. It's called electricaltime.com, and we got some really cool things here. We've got online electrical classes, so go check them out. And also, we got free videos, so go back to our website each week and you know check out our free videos. All right, now back to this video is a and that's going to be 63,950 VA. So the first question we are going to ask ourselves is what article are we talking about to do this load calculation? And that is going to be article 220 and that's called branch dash circuit feeder and service load calculations and that's within chapter 2 wiring and protection. And then we find part three, which is called feeder and service load calculations in article 220. And then we find table 220.42, lighting load demand factors. All right, so let's go take a look at that table together um, in our code book. And I do have the table here, and I also want to talk to you about NFPA Link. It's a fantastic tool. It's available on nfpa.org, and uh, I think they do a, a free subscription period for like, I think, a couple of days or maybe even two weeks. So go check it out. It's like having the code book on your phone. It's really cool. So in this table here, uh, table 220.42, this is called the lighting load demand factors. And let me just uh, increase that so we can see that a little bit better. So we can see here that we've got different types of occupancy. Really important that you get the, the occupancy right. Because if you choose the wrong occupancy, you can see that there's going to be different demand factors that you're going to apply. And then you're going to get the answer wrong. So here, you know, we're talking about dwelling units and it's telling us take the first 3000 va at a hundred percent then we take the next 3001 to 120,000 va at 35 percent and then we take the remainder over 120,000 va at 25 percent all right so let's go back and take a look at how we we solved this problem so let's apply the standard um, method demand factor from table 220.42 for dwelling units. So we're going to take that first 3000 VA at 100% and that's going to give us 300 VA. Then we're going to take the next 117,000 VA at 35% and that's going to give us 40,950. And then we're going to take the balance of 80,000 VA at 25%, and that's going to give us 20,000 VA. Also, I want you to notice something here. If we take the 3,000 VA, and I put a, a little dot here, we take that 3,000 VA plus the 117,000 VA plus the 80,000 VA, that is going to equal our total connected load of 200,000 VA. It's really important that you, you start with that connected load and then you start applying the first 3,000. And then if there's anything left, you can go up to 117,000 VA at 35%. And if there's anything left after that, you just take the balance at 25%. All right. So we, we're going to, let's add up these numbers and see what we get. So the total demand load, we've got 3,000 VA plus 40,950 VA plus 20,000 VA is equal to 63,950 VA. And then the answer is A. 
and that's 63,950 VA for the lighting load the man factor and that's going to be table 220.42.